This is the race of the men's uh, Prince Albert uh, Challenge Cup with Harvard University A versus Cornell University. Attention! And the starter's orders, and away, Harvard University on the Berkshire Bank, on the Berkshire Station to the left. Cornell University from the USA to the right on the buck, so we've got an all-university, all-United States University match-up here. We do academic Cox Fours here, heavyweights on our left, Harvard, and lightweights on our right, Cornell. So the Prince Albert heat is underway, and it's Harvard University forged out in front early. Very distinctive Harvard University in those uh, red and maroon vests with H stamped on the front. You definitely can't miss that H, can you? <laughs> well, if I was lying down on the grass, I'd be worried a helicopter might land That's on the chest. It's, uh, Given the size of some of those blokes, it's true as well, isn't it? Uh, those, those heavyweights are a big size difference compared to the lightweights on the left of the screen there. Which, um, But actually, these conditions are probably best for the lightweights to race with a bit of a tailwind helping them out. And look at that lead Harvard University have already stamped on this race several lengths up on Cornell University who have got some work to do to keep uh, this race alive. Harvard University, a class act, really good. Winners of the Visitors Challenge Cup at Henley, of course, Harvard uh, last year and the year before. Finalists in the Prince Albert Challenge Cup at Henley last year. Temple Challenge Cup the year before. Winners of the Ladies Challenge Plate at Henley. They don't come to Henley thinking they'll make up the numbers, Harvard. That's true. Although this crew did have the bye in the first round, I thought maybe that sort of Cornell having raced might have got a bit more experience under their belts, but um, it looks like having that day off has probably paid off for, for Harvard here. It can work two ways, can't it? The uh, energy expenditure and the uh, general weariness of racing a second time, particularly with the heat as it is, uh, against the experience that you gain from an extra outing on the water. It can work either way. That's right, yeah. Big strong lads there, aren't they? Big strong rhythm, even through the wash. Doesn't look like it's deterring them at all, does it? Cornell are a, a lighter crew than Harvard, definitely. Relatively light crew. Yeah, so this Cornell crew being lightweight, so obviously I think we've got a we've got a doctor stroking the boat and we've got a, a wine major at three, I think, actually. Um, so yeah, we've got an interesting mix of studies in that boat. Versatile group in the bow for Cornell. Uh, Colin Gianni, and you've got there a close up on Travis Taft, the bow for Harvard University 8, and the boat with Don Glover at 2, Ben Strathmore, and Ryan Rasmussen. A stroke. Cox is Cole Durbin. And they are in the ascendancy up against Cornell University at the moment, the uh, versatile boat that Adam just mentioned. You can see the stroke there, Ian Siegel from Cornell University. Looks like he's working hard. They have uh, not given this one up at all. No, they're tapping it along, aren't they? In true lightweight style, they're really trying to get the strokes in, aren't they? Bustling along, aren't they? Mm. Busy. Busy. Zipping along, up and down that slide. Surprising to hear Adam Freeman Pasca talking up the lightweight department. <laughs> You'd never guess where he comes from. You've got, you've got to back up the lightweights, haven't you? you know? It's always good to see the lights take down the heavies. Might, might not be the case here, though. Yeah, that's not going to happen in the next couple of minutes, I don't think, because the heavies of Harvard University 8 are a couple of lengths clear as they come in front of the stewards' enclosure. Cornell University, the lightweights, fighting hard to stay in contention and deserve some credit for that. They uh, looked early on in the race as if they might be completely dead and buried, but they fought back well to uh, stay in touch but Harvard University with a late burst as well, they're just uh, making absolutely sure, aren't they, that keeping the rate up a bit of a push to the line, now drop it off That's right, I think Cornell have been up at 40 pretty much since the start of the enclosures, haven't they? <laughs> Bustling along uh, for a good stretch of that race over the line they go now, Cornell University couldn't keep up with the heavyweights of Harvard University 8 who keep on moving through this competition into the weekend, so good work from Harvard University 8 in the Prince Albert.